Hi there, this is Veronica. Today we'll be making a tablet sleeve. I had this design for a while, but I could never decide how I want the closure to be. And I actually had that struggles in this video as well. The end result doesn't look like what you see here on the design, and also it's not the same as my first edition for the templates. So let's print out all the patterns and make them into templates. The leather I'm using is this gray chrome tan leather. This is about 3 to 4 ounce. But I like to use this leather is because the flash side of it is very smooth and clean and even. So today we're actually not going to make a fabric liner for the tablet sleeve. On the back of the leather, I'm going to draw the outline from the templates and cut out all the leather pieces needed. We'll first finish the front side panel. On top of the front panel, I'm going to add a pocket. And since we're going to stitch the front pocket on, I decided to add another pocket on the back side. That will share the same stitching holes and now give us two pockets. So I use the same templates to cut another piece of leather for the inside. On top of the template, cut all four corners for the pocket, and this will help for the positioning the pocket. Put the template on the front panel, then trace out the corners onto the leather. And before we assemble everything, we're going to finish all the edges.
I use a sandpaper on top of the front panel and this will help for gluing them better. Then we're going to glue the front pocket onto the front panel. Glue the front pocket up and punch all the holes for the front pocket. And for the pocket inside, I punch the holes separately. The reason why I don't attach the inner pocket on the inside of the front pocket is because that you will have to align the pockets perfectly or the holes you punch is not going to be aligned and that's going to look quite ugly. So now we have the front panel and the front pocket attached. We're going to sew it all up with the inner pocket. So they're all up and now we have our front panel with two pockets. Next on top of the front panel, we're going to draw a guideline at the bottom. And this is the part where we glue to the other leather piece.
We'll first glue the bottom side of the front and back panels. Then we'll punch the holes for stitching. And after that, we're actually going to separate two leather pieces. We punched all these holes first, is to make it easier later when we assemble the bags together. And if we didn't punch the holes at the bottom first, it's going to be a lot more difficult later. After separating the front and back panels, we're going to attach the sides of them. So same thing on the side of the front panel, we're going to draw a guideline on the side where the other leather is going to glue on top of. Glue and stitch them together on both sides. Then we can stitch up the bottom side. Sew the base up, then we're going to flip the whole bag inside out. And we still have two corners to finish. And we're going to sew them up on the inside of the bag. So fold the corner up like so. Then we're going to sew them together. After that, we can flip it back out. Thank you. 
So my original plan was to use these additional attachments for the flap, but I don't really like the look of it. Then I decided to use these metal closures, but I couldn't find my screws that are shorter. Then I drew another closure design and made them into templates. Then I used this um, crazy horse leather for making the closure. Cut the leather pieces out according to the templates. This leather is much thicker than the one we use for the back. This is about 5 to 6 ounce. And because I designed it to be a tuck lock, you want to have the thickness of the rigidness for the tuck, or it's going to be too flimsy for the closure. On top of this octagon, we're going to cut two lines and then we're going to run a strip through these two cuts. And now it's going to form the tuck for the straps to go through. So originally, I was going to use the same leather, but because it was thicker, so it would be a lot more difficult for the strap to go through the tuck. And you will also make the octagon leather to be not as flat. So then I used the same leather we used for making the back. Place the strap in and adjust the strip for the tuck. Then we're going to attach the closures on. The pattern you download is going to have the positions for these closures. So you can use the templates to mark the position. I add a couple rivets on the attachments that goes on the lid and this is going to add a little bit more weight on the attachments which helps the lid to stay closed. Glue and stitch them up.
Then we will attach the other piece of the attachment and and that will be sewed to the front pocket. And I left the ends of the strip for the tucks just for the look. They are not adjustable, they will still be sewn down. So it all up, then we're done. This is a simple tablet sleeve that I didn't design to use any fabric liners. Although it's not complicated, it was one of the difficult ones to design as I have a lot of ideas on the design and how I want to finish the sides, the base, how I want to structure them to have some thickness but also keep it thin and the most difficult part was the closure that went through a lot of ideas and finally end up with this one and I'm quite happy with how it turned out and I'm glad that this idea was the best of all the other ones I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching